welcome to Kitten Up Kitten and this is a little bit of a different video. Um, so this isn't complete yet, I'm still working on it, but I did promise that I would do a video on my setup now that I'm in the snug. Um, so first of all, the question I get asked the most is what is a snug? So basically, it is a room that you very often get in English pubs, old English pubs, and it's usually a small room with a little fireplace and it's just somewhere to get comfy. So we, when we moved in this house, it was a separate dining room. We don't sit down and dine together like that. So we actually have a table and chairs in the sunroom, which is an extension. Um, this room has been used for the last three years as either somewhere to put all the stuff <laughs> or somewhere to put the sofa bed that my husband sleeps on most of the time um so when i did the move i moved the the nail stuff that i've got into the summer house i moved the sofa bed into the sunroom so we now have a room that we can live in and i moved into here so i'm going to give you a walk around now it's not finished anywhere near we need to decorate we had the whole house rewired so we're still needing to decorate properly um and it is nothing's where it may end up and there are some things that i can't show you but i'm going to give you a rundown of how i've made this small space work so behind me this is the door as you can see i managed to get soulmates by raven feeling on the door with um I can't remember that nano tape that's what it's held up with which is fabulous stuff i love it so i've literally just cut the edges off and hung put it up like a poster so let's go through what i've got in here um let me just move that because i can't show you that can't show you those um so first of all so please excuse the mess so husband's drum kit um these are the two printers that we've got going this is the original printer so this is dick and this is the newer printer and this is dom this is the printer we're having issues with at the minute which is why it's not running but this one i'm frantically trying to make white trays because i need some stock um under here i also have my boxes my bigger boxes for orders and pepper's dog cage <laughs> um that is the door coming in so this is where i keep all of my cover minders cook pots pen rests oh and stoppers okay so that's there with all the tools on top and then these are what I keep my stock in. This is my current stock <laughs> of trays. Because every time I, I update, more come in. So this is what I keep them in. We have a melt warmer just there. Um, so as you come in through the main door, this is my snug my office my workroom i suppose you'd call it um so i have got a window here but this window actually leads into the sunroom eventually this whole wall will be coming out um when we do our extensions you can see i've still got i need to paint this we need to sand it down and paint it so um chair which i got from amazon we have a bin that we can get to and this is my oh this is my hanger this is so handy so it is actually can you see so you can pull it out and push it in depending so i literally hang any whips on trouser hangers and hang them up there so i've got completed ones there's my supernatural one he's still gorgeous uh my heaven and earth um so yeah that's what i use and then i've got some up here um, a couple of which are going into the summer house and a couple that are presents that I need to frame. I also have a blanket box down here. Now in that blanket box I keep uh, my tape gun, my scales, I keep um, giveaway stuff. So anything, you know, paintings, kit items, whatever, all go into that box where I can find them. And it's very handy to have that at the side of my desk to put stuff on. The little unicorn box has got random bits in it, but it's got stuff in there that I can't show you. I also have this very messy corner 
in that box I have a load of mailing tubes um, and I also have my small boxes on there and I have some extra labels that Penny gave me. So this is my desk, this is my setup. So as you can see, I've got my desk. Um, this is where I keep my trays, my pens, my tweezers, my cover papers. I also keep my logbook, my tracker there. And then these drawers um, I got off Penny. So in the top here, if I can pull it out, it's very hard to do this one. So in the top here, I've got clips, paper clips, you know, rings, glue dots and multi-placers. This is where I keep all my multi-placers. Um, so that is in there. And then in this one, I have washi tape. <laughs> I've literally just got these. These are so cute. They're little thin ones, but they're a 10 meter. So that's where I keep my washi tapes. I also have my blue tree 310 square T 310 tic tac box. Got my bin up here. I've got a tub full of pens, um, ceramic pens, highlighters, roller, rulers. This is my odds and sods box. It's literally there for me to chuck stuff in. And then this is the camera mount. So this is what I film off. So I usually use this light here. This is the camera arm where my phone goes. And then I also have a second light, a ring light there. I do have another one of these, but the stand for it isn't very high. And currently my daughter's using it for filming. This box in here has baggies, little bits of tissue paper, card inserts and labels for packing. And this here, um has got all the bits i need for my cover minders glue um files for the trays these are metal files and these are multi-placers so i have a big extension here that i can use to plug stuff in so that is the setup um of course with my my witch cup thing and my coffee because that's important and then we have the dresser. Okay, I flipping love this dresser. And in my old house, we had a big kitchen diner and this is where this lived. In this house, there's not really anywhere to put this to show it off to its beauty, but it's fabulous for storing stuff. So let's start at the top. In that box at the end is, you know, like you get all the stuff that you put in your mandrel, you know, batteries and old chargers and all that stuff. That's what that's got in it. The second box has got paperwork, so important stuff, the, the deeds for the house, um, just stuff that we need to keep hold of. And that third one are completed diamond paintings that aren't in boxes or that are rolled up. We then have our insurance house stuff, stuff, and that basket there, if I can focus, is full of dog toys, which we've had to put out of the way because currently we don't want Pepper and storm arguing over toys um so then i have all of my books and some old ornaments and stuff um this one which is looking quite old now this was actually on the top of our wedding cake um monkey world because i love monkey world I've got a bottle of perfume just in case a very old clown doll i hate it but it was ashley's mum so i've got to keep it um i've got a little trophy <laughs> Um, and then we have, again, medication stuff. I've got stationery in here. Um, what have I got in the bottom there? Oh, that's got um, my hole punch and infills for my um, Xyron sticker maker. And then I have a basket full of these envelopes. So a huge basket full of those just in case I need them for, you know, labels or um, extra bags, etc. I then have a tub full of little leftover pots. I've got a billion of these. I need to do something with those. So that's in there. And then I've got pens. I've got some leftover canvas remnants in there. These two are actually my canvases for my next um project my next conversion i then have a box with some pots in that have got 
crystals in. Don't know what to do with them. These are empty. And then I have a drawer with, they shouldn't be in there, drawer with paper clips, loads of bags, little silver envelopes. And then I have a whole drawer full of labels. And I also have these, which have got little um, nano tape strips in, but they, they weren't what I expected, so I've just put them in there. So that's in that. I then have both of my conversions, so um, Secret Door and my Hobbit canvas that I'll be doing next. I have a big tray full of resin stuff. I then have... This box, which has got pens in, and I've got a load more cover minders, etc., in there to do. That has also got resin stuff in. And in here, I have got glitter and foil and spare drills. This box here is paper, labels, etc. This box here, with these two Perspex things on, is my polymer clay. And then I've got my printer, and at the moment I have got my budget um, diamond painting on the top there. So that's everything on there. Uh, medicine drawer, don't need to see that, that's a rubbish drawer. In here, I've got paperwork and all sorts, all sorts. Just rubbish, don't need to see that. In here is where I keep all of my kitted up kits in. It's quite difficult to get in. But as you can see, kitted up kits and um, empty storage. Big thing of wool there. Don't even know what. Load of envelopes, I think. And um, yeah, this end is just the rest of it. So this is my wonker I've just kitted up. That's empty. That's it. Not a very long video, is it? 12 minutes not very long um but we really love the fact i'm in here and the reason it's not finished yet is because as i start working and i start getting stuff i then realize i've got i need stuff closer so i have been moving around quite a lot but i've got a lot of storage i've got a lot of stuff in it and i still have these two boxes to sort out um, I've got some tubes down there which I use to transport and I've got the boxes for the kits I'm working on um, but that's it um, portfolios are down here um, yeah so eventually I'm hoping to have a TV up here but as you can see my issue is I have got some artwork I want to put up so I want to put my Randall Spanglers up here that's what I want to do. But I also need to get my Supernatural up. So I might do the, the two Spanglers and then Supernatural. But anyway, that is... It's not very tidy. Uh, Carsey is out of the car because we're going on holiday. That's my granddaughter's. Um, and the basket is just what I use. But I had to move a couple of bits because I have some stuff that I can't show you. Um, I do also storm's bed in here and it's quite nice oh and look this is my outdoor folding table this is my adjust adjustable you can see that i've dropped a couple of bags there and i need to hoover because there's drills on the floor um but yeah it just sits under there because it doesn't under the desk either let's get under there this is this is going to be fun this is where i get down and i can't get back up again so under the desk which is why i wanted it so i'll pick them bags up this is where I keep all of my spare storage, my um, spare drills. There's a little box at the end there which has my um, my ABs in. And then I've got this big box which is literally full of stuff that I didn't know where to put. <laughs> and then I've got a box here which has got glue. I've got more of those silver envelopes. I've got double-sided tape, painkillers, my Xyron, and a whole new set of index cards, which at some point I'm gonna switch out. So let's pick them bags up while I'm down here. Yeah. Back. Okay, so yeah, at some point the, uh, the drum kit will be moving out. And um, there are still things that I wanna get. I mean, I've got quite a lot of room under my desk, so that's good, but the, the unit is the best thing ever 
and it's like I know it's old fashioned but it works it does work so um yeah that's it that's my my tool um it will look much nicer once I get the walls sanded and painted and then I can get my artwork up because I've got quite a few walls here will be where the TV will go so I've got this wall here we're going to put shelving up because then we can keep all of the filaments up there um, and then this wall I can probably have a storage unit then I could keep all of my diamond art club down here I'd have something to put them all on so that's it that is my snug tour it will be forever more called the snug because that's what we call it but it is my craft room it is my office you know i pack the orders in here i print the labels out the only thing i don't do in here is i don't do the resin because if it gets in the carpet it's a nightmare to get out um so i tend to take that into the kitchen which is why it's in a box but yeah this is this is the space so I hope you've enjoyed my little video. Um, please excuse the state of me. I am um, trying to get stuff done, ready, so that I can have this two weeks off, which I'm really looking forward to. But I just thought I'd share my space with you. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up. And I will be back very soon with another video. Bye-bye for now.